guess first of all, settling in okay. I guess it's a club you you knew quite well anyway. Yeah, um, so it's definitely setting in well. Um, took its time a little bit because um, I sort of started a couple of days before the actual announcement yeah. came out, and uh, obviously it's at a time in football when it's it's a little bit like the back end of the holiday period. So I sort of um, trying to get things done. Loads of enthusiasm, like anyone does in a first few days in a new job but um, there wasn't loads of people around in order to get get the answers and get some direction so now everyone's back for pre-season it's it's uh, a lot busier a lot more going on it's it's, it's, uh, it's been enjoyable so far obviously in your various roles at Lake Norian and, and, and elsewhere I guess it's a club you've come across quite a lot in the past so not too much homework required you you knew quite a lot and probably the people here I guess as well yeah and because of location first of all I came to quite a few games certainly at the back end of last season um, which 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 is obviously really helpful without without knowing it I had a, a good knowledge of how the team played the makeup of the squad and that sort of thing um, so that was certainly the case um, yeah and, and it's, it's a club that I know that when you you know turning up here today with the training ground that's in place where the stadium is um, I know the potential that the club's got it's, it's not always been a place where I've had like major contacts in terms of you know you wouldn't say that the people that they're that at the club are, are particular friends but like anything football's quite a small world so um, met people on the on the circuit if you like and, and on that network and um, Fortunately, when you make good impressions, I suppose it, it come around to helping me in terms of um, getting the opportunity to come for the job. I mean, your your career in the programme is, is pretty much soaked in in coaching, youth coaching, academy coaching, first team coaching. How different a role is this for you? Um, not drastically. Um, I had a, a period at, at Norwich City a number of years ago now where I worked in recruitment, and I think. Of course, yes, coaching's been at the forefront of everything um, everything that I've done in my career, but also that goes hand in hand with that, especially when you're working at, at clubs like Colchester and, and Leighton Orient and, and my time at particularly at AFC Bournemouth. And recruitment was always really, really important to us in terms, whether that be a, a young player at, you know, at, the, at the early stages of the academy or at further down the line with with, with players around the first team and, and bringing players into the club ultimately as well at Tottenham Hotspur. So recruitment's always been a, a very much tied into the roles that I've done. So I've had to keep my finger on the pulse in terms of knowledge of players, um, you know, in, in terms of being able to have contacts with people to make sure that, that we're, we're in conversations with the, with the right personnel in terms of making sure that we've got the, the, the right people coming into the club. And obviously conversations and the way you deal with people is always a massive part of coaching but when you're trying to, to attract the right people to your club it's important to be able to treat people properly and, and do and say the right things in order to make those things happen. I don't know how easy this is going to be to answer the role of head of recruitment are you out watching players physically or are you coordinating scouting networks how does it work? Yeah, all of the above really um, so right now not, not being able to get out to games yet because I haven't quite started so looking forward to that happening a um, few over the weekend but then predominantly from next week you start to see people picking up their pre-season friendlies so that will be a big part of my role I think um, over the years it's definitely evolved in terms of being able to access video uh, video footage of, of, of players so it doesn't you don't always have to get out I think it's really important that when you start to home in on your targets that you get to watch people specifically in action um, but it does, it's become a lot easier to manage your time now in terms of being able to really scale and focus on the types of players that you want as well as going out and watching and then it would be a case of coordinating people to assist me and, and, the, and the club to go and, go and identify players um, and then also coordinating the rest of, of, of what goes in on throughout because obviously it's a massive part of the club here, the academy, the 23s, the 18s, to make sure that we're um, in the race and, and identifying the best players out there to, to come in and improve those groups, improve the club and the pathway into the first team. So is it, is it about Wayne and the first team coaching staff coming to you and saying, look, need a left back, need a right back, need a striker, and, and you've already got a list ready or you suggesting players to them? It, it's, a, it's, um, it's a bit of everything. And I think over a period of time that when you're putting a plan in place for recruitment, what we want to get towards is is, is it being you know, club focused decisions i've obviously come into a time uh, into the club at a time when uh, there were targets in place there was uh, an idea in place of the types of positions that we wanted to recruit for um, 
So it was a case of sort of fitting into that, helping the process of trying to recruit one or two of those already, but then also put my own input on the types of players, uh, the characters, uh, the profiles of those so that they come in and they fit with 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 Wayne and what the first team want because um, ultimately it's not about my opinion on who's a good player and what he looks like, it's about trying to find what's going to work and make the, the first team successful and, and obviously the first team manager and his staff successful at the job they do. So it's been a case of trying to support that process that was already in place, give my own opinions and then um, collate evidence, video, statistics so that we can present the right types of players that are going to go and play in our first team. So when we show up and take photos of players holding up their shirt and, and, and interview them, there is weeks gone, <laughs> gone into that. Yeah, weeks, um, battery on your phone, <laughs> um, text messages, phone calls, but it's part of part of it, making sure, like, like my big thing is making sure that we're at the front of the of the race for the players that we want. You know, it's, it's not always going to be that we go and get the number one target. We do our very best to make sure that we do that. But a lot of the part, a lot of the parts that go into it is the preparation on, you know, financially what it costs to bring a player in, um, and then like I say, the, the characteristics and what's behind signing players. Because it's not just about going and getting the best footballer. It's about getting the character that's going to be out here playing and training and, and doing the right things to make sure that we're a successful club. So there more to come. Yeah, certainly. Um, obviously been uh, active already in terms of the players that, that we've brought in already. As I mentioned there, a number of those that were that were that been in, in the club, um, but also players that the club had identified as, as being the targets that they wanted to wanted to bring in. But we have got positions and targets and, and I think now we've 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 brought the, the three players in that we have done already, it's now a case of make sure, making sure that we're patient and being prepared for the positions that we might need, but also um, the little curveball ones that are thrown in, whether that be a, you know, an injury to a player, whether that be a sale of a player. There's so many different factors that can impact it, so it's not necessarily about us going out and looking for just one position. It's being prepared that when things change or when things evolve, we're ready to make sure that the right ones are, are there to bring into the club. And I guess as, as well, just finally, one player you thought you might have missed out suddenly might rear his head again a few weeks later if something doesn't work out for them. Exactly right. And then the circumstances change as well. You know, players, I'm sure, right, right now will have an idea of what they want to earn, the length of contract that they want to do, where they want to live in the country, for example. And then circumstances change if the, the types of clubs don't come up that that they're aspiring to go and play for, whether the level doesn't, you know, doesn't get quite quite pitched for them, then um, we need to be ready to make sure that we're um, we're the ones that that are prepared and, and it's not too off the cuff. We want to make sure that you know we have the ideas and the targets that, that the manager and the, and the club want so that we're not being too random in the way that we work. Brilliant. Thanks for asking.